Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my very first video. I am super excited to do this. I've loved makeup for a long time. It's been something that I've always enjoyed. So I'm really excited to be able to share that. So today I'm gonna do a full face that's, that's fairly basic and incorporate some fall colors. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is prime my face with the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. Um, I really like this because it is great for oily skin and larger pores and it really minimizes the appearance there. So I just take a little bit of that and then put it all over my face. Now that we're primed, I'm gonna go in with foundation. Today I'm gonna to be using the CoverGirl Clean and Matte BB Cream. This is in the shade 530 Light Medium. I really like this because it's not too heavy, but it does give a really good even skin tone. Then I'm gonna go in with one of my brushes from Morphe. This is a stippling brush, and I actually got all the brushes I'm using from Morphe today in a set, so I'll put that in the description below. So I just take this and blend it in all over. Since my skin has been going a little bit rogue on me, I'm going to add a little bit more on the areas where I've had some blemishes. Um, and this stuff is super buildable, which is really nice. Make sure to take your foundation down through your neck, otherwise you're gonna have that dreaded line right there. Next, I'm gonna use Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This stuff is really nice. Um, it's definitely got a fuller coverage, but it's not cakey by any means. So I'm just gonna take that and put it right here under my eyes. I like to draw in kind of like a V so that you don't just put it right where you have dark circles and then essentially highlight that when it's something that you wanna cover. I'm gonna put it under this eye and then I like to put a little bit on my chin around my nose and my forehead just to bring out those areas. And then with that same Morphe brush, I'm just gonna blend it all in. Now, I like to set where my concealer's gone, especially under the eyes, because otherwise it'll crease, and it's a really quick step. So I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. It is in the shade Translucent, and I'm just gonna go in with this brush from Morphe and just set that on the areas where I put concealer. It's got quite a bit of fallout, but you can just brush that in. So for my brows today, I have this brow pencil from Maybelline. It is the micro pencil. It's dark brown. Um, and it also has a little spoolie here on the end. As you can see, it's a super, super tiny little point there. So I just start in the middle right here, fill that in, um, and then get lighter as I work my way. And I'm actually gonna do this off camera just cause it takes a little while. And I am back with brows. So now I'm gonna go into the eyes. For the eyes today, I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. As you can see, this palette has definitely gotten some love, um, but it's an awesome palette. It's got, I think, 35 shades or something like that. It's a really good deal. It might be for like 42 or something, but you get a super wide variety of shades, which I really, really like. Um, and they are, they're all really pigmented and blend smoothly, so I've been using this for quite a bit of stuff. So today I am going to go in with the highlight first. And... I'm going to use this brush by e.l.f. It is the smudge brush. And I'm gonna go into the first shade right over here. And I am just gonna put that right under my brow bone as well as right in the inner corners. And now that that's done, I'm gonna go in to this shade right here um, and put that all over the crease and the lid. Now that we have a really nice base, I'm gonna go in over the top of that with this shade right here, which is called Pukey. I love that. Um, it's just a really cool brown, yellowy shade. So I'm gonna put that on to kind of even out the pink. Next, I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush by Morphe again, and I'm going to go into this shade right here and put that a little more focused on the crease. Thank you. 
Next, I am going to take an even smaller brush by Morphe again, and I am going to go into this shade right here, which has got kind of a purpley tone because I really want to work in this nice purple color right here. So I'm going to go in with this shade and work it again on the crease, but really focus it more on the outer corners and then pack it in right here. So see, that comes on pretty purpley. And I think what I'm actually gonna do with that purple color is I'm gonna use it, ooh, purple color. So I'm gonna use it for the lower lash line here. I think that'll be really pretty. So I do want to clean up kind of this area right here a little bit. I'm just gonna take this brush here by Wet n Wild. It's a contouring brush. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of run that here because I would like it a little less wild. These brushes are so soft. I really just want this whole look to blend really well. So I'm gonna take this large brush by Morphe again and dip it into that pukey color and just work it all over the lid. There we go, that way everything is super blended out. Then I'm going to line the top of my eye with this Stila Waterproof Liner. It is in some shade of black. I'm sure it's black as black. And I'm gonna just put that across the top. I just put a really, really thin line across my eyes. And then I'm gonna line the waterline with this Bare Minerals Coal Liner in the shade Plum. I'm gonna line that on my waterline here as well as tight line the upper lash line. Now that we are tight lined, I'm gonna go into that purple shade that I've been talking about and I'm gonna put that right on the lower lash line. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and curl them and add mascara. And my curler today is from Revlon and the mascara is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And the eyes are finished. Now I'm just going to contour a little bit and bronze up the face and of course add some blush. So for my contouring today, I'm going to be using this NYX palette. Um, I think it was like $25. It's an awesome contouring palette because you've got a huge variety. Um, they've got the contour shades. They've got a couple highlight shimmer shades. These are just matte highlights. And then this over here can serve as a bronzer. So it's a really, really awesome palette for a great value. I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's got kind of a gray undertone, which is important for a contour because the shadows in your face are gray so I'm gonna use that and I'm going to take this wet and wild brush again dip that in there and then just focus it right where that cheekbone is and I'm not gonna blend it in all the way yet just so you can kind of see where everything lands you can also do it a little up here if you're feeling fun. And then I like to do it right on the jawline. And then you're just gonna blend, blend, blend. I also really love to contour my nose. So I just grabbed a small brush. This is a brush by Visanti. I actually got it in an Ipsy box. It's a contour eyeshadow brush, but really it's important to just have a fine tip that is on the fluffier side when you're gonna go down your nose so that you don't get a really big brush that's gonna like contour this entire side of your nose when you just want it to be right down that line. So again, I'm gonna go into that same color and then I'll try to do this on camera because I feel like it's hard to see behind a mirror. And just work that line right down your nose, so I feel like it's kind of hard to see right now. 
So you want it to just be a line and then connect that into your eye sockets. So you can kind of see the lines right there. I'm gonna go off camera actually and blend these out, but you can see what the lines look like.